everyone so today I'm going to do the Friday urban sketching sessions at home so the for those of us that struggle to find time to get outside and, and do urban sketching on location um, this is a great option to do the same um, quick style of urban sketching but you know at home just picking random objects and as you can see today I'm holding a bottle of nail polish it's a Ciate I never know how to pronounce it I think it's it's that way it's it might have been one of those samples you get in the magazine or something so it's a super pretty red and um, I love their bottles their beautiful shape and so I thought I'm going to illustrate it today so for that I'm going to use of course my platinum carbon ink pen and um, thank you for purchasing this pen using the Amazon links um, I'm so happy that you're really enjoying this pen because it's for sure it's my favorite um, fountain pen to draw with at the moment as well and I, I just um, I think it's fantastic so anyways I'm going to use this pen and the ink is the same ink so it's carbon ink in there mm. it's a waterproof ink which is fantastic for uh, urban sketching and it's an extra or super fine nib so it gives you a super fine line for my brush today I'm going to use actually this um, silver black velvet uh, in eight it's a round brush which I have reviewed a couple of videos ago and um, yeah it's a it comes to super fine point as you can see uh, again in the dry state I'm showing you the comparison to my quill brush from Jackson's so it gives you beautiful uh, details so let's start um, as per usual I'm going to put music to it draw it out and then watercolor it watercolors I'm going to use my portable painter palette which I have been using pretty much daily and the color I'm going to use is a um, Daniel Smith Pyrrol Scar Scarlet. So it's this one right here. As you can see, it's a good, uh, good match. And that is it.
So here is the um, finished version. I had to um, blow dry it a little bit just to set the watercolour. Um, so what I wanted to share with you was that you could see that um, I sort of was finished at one point, but I really didn't like how it was looking. It kind of looked a little bit too um, static in a way. So I wanted to create more uh, watercolor play and a little bit more style to it. So that's when I decided to let the red flow into or outside of the lines out of outside of the drawing and I actually really like it and I also like the um, bleeds here when the watercolor bleeds into the ink and the watercolor shadow which I mixed up later um, coming back to the black here I just decided to try out something new and instead of mixing up a dark um, sort of watercolor mix I decided to go in with my uh, Lamy Safari and this is inside there there is a water soluble Lamy ink in black and um, it's um, kind of dilutes to sort of a cool gray so then um, I also have this sort of um, line work here which um, creates an illusion of uh, sort of a round um, object of curved um, side of the lid and um, yeah so that was quite fun I didn't like it as much for the shadow um, some lines are coming through I don't think I will do use it for a shadow again um, and so on top I went over with a sort of like a, uh, a more neutral sort of a mix of a maybe grayish color and that was it so it was super easy and I liked adding a little bit of that messy style which I'm kind of um, enjoying because after having ordered the urban watercolor sketching book and seeing Felix's um, kind of messy watercolor how he embraces it and the the, the um, sketching style I um, quite liked having that freedom in this illustration so yeah that was super simple and that is it so thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this illustration and have a lovely weekend and see you soon